Hello, welcome to Scrap Time. My name is Christine and in this video we're going to make some magical treat bags using products from Lawn Fawn Stamps. In this video I'm going to show you how to make these cute little treat bags using products from Lawn Fawn. I started by cutting the bag using this, um, I think she calls it the tote bag die. And you need two cuts of it. So I have one I'm going to be building. So this actually cuts to be half a bag. And then you have the second one that you will glue together, which I'll get to in a moment, but just so you know. So I use the tote bag die. Then I use the stitched rectangle frames. And that, I'll show you on this side too, what makes the little frame. And there's little sti stitch marks in the middle of it. So on this bag, I used the frame, but then I took the inside and just used the inside here on this bag. So you get both cuts from the die. And I cut that using the six by six perfectly plaid paper set. And you get a lot of great plaid designs in there. And then I use the Fairy Friends uh, stamps with the coordinating dies to cut out all the cute images. And that's also where the stamp Have a Magical Day is. So let's get started. So as I mentioned before, I have my two halves of my bag. Now this is going to be the back of the bag and I still put the stitching or the little stitch border around it. And I'm going to place that aside because I want to work on this bag um, while it's still flat. But I've already done all my folds in the bag. So when you cut it, it will have all the marks and I folded it already. So the first thing I need to do then is glue on my border. And this border fits perfectly um, around the bag. I just have some glue here. I use the Scotch Quick Dry. And it's thick enough. You can put on directly, but my glue is acting up. So I'm just going to put it on with a pin. I'm getting to the end of my blue bottle and sometimes it keeps getting stuck on me. So I'm just going around. This dries fairly quick and especially under the light. So I don't want to take too long. I'm making sure I get the corners and along the edges. So then I will glue that right in that space. And if you do get any glue that goes over the edge, you can just wipe it off. It does dry clear. And I'll put that aside. So for this bag, I picked two images I'm going to use. I have the sunflower and a fairy. And what I previous did, previously did was I cut out all the shapes. You can see here some of the excess shapes I have. I cut them all out out of a watercolor paper and then I stamped them with the archival ink. So now I'm going to color them. And I've decided to use distress markers to do my coloring. And I have a little water brush here my glue aside. So for the wings I'm going to do purple and what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of the dark purple here and then I, that was wilted violet and then I am using um, Victorian velvet and I don't have to color the whole Thing in. I can just do like that. I think I'm going to add my colors first and then I'm going to water brush them. For the dress, I'm using a little bit of candied apple. And 
with worn lipstick. And again, I'm not coloring at all. For her skin, I'm using Tattered Rose. Oh, there is a, her wings went down here as well. So I'm going to put a little bit of the dark purple. And then the Victorian velvet. And then for her hair, I'm using ground espresso. I'll just put that much for now. Um, for the sunflower, I'm going to put a little bit of brown there. And then I'm using wild honey for the petals. And some peeled paint for the stem. Okay. So I've put my color down. So now I'm using my water brush, making sure that there's water there. You, I use a thin one. You don't need a lot of water here. And I'm just pulling the color. Now I think I actually have quite a bit of water on my brush. So I'm going to peel or just take some of it off. I think I removed too much of the color so I'll go back but I'm just pushing that color to the end activating the color I might be able to just pick up the color actually from those I want with fairy wings you want them to be very light and then I'll do her and then her dress so I like to use markers when doing these really small drawings because you can get that nice watercolored look but you don't have um, it makes it easy to get into those small little areas And then her hair. So I don't want to dab it off. Oh, I see a bit of the red got into her face. So for that, I might actually put some water in there to get it out and I'm going to set her aside to dry and then do the sunflower and I'm just wiping off the excess color from my brush before moving on to the next color And just like that, it's all painted. So I'm going to just dry these a moment. I'll be right back. And so my little images are dry. A little bit of the brown got onto her face and that. So you want to just watch how much water you have on the brush. You need such a little amount of water uh, to move these paints around in this small little shape. And just a reminder, I did this on watercolored paper. So if you're using this on regular paper, you might... the the markers may not blend as well. So you want to do this on watercolor paper. So I'm going to go back to my little bag here and I'm going to be putting my flower in there and my fairy up here. And so I am using this glue.
And when I have a frame, I like to overlap the images a bit over the frame. It just seems to give it a little dimension. sort of flying. And then what I did is I stamped have a magical day on a banner and I'm going to put it on there but I think what I'm going to do first because it comes off the bag a bit is glue my bag and I'll add the banner on after. So I need to put the glue. I'm going to see if I can get my glue working. It's much easier to do this part out of the bottle. I think I can get a little glue here. To the first side anyway. So it just goes up like that and if it seeps out I just wipe it with my finger or a Kleenex or cloth. And then so you put a bit of glue there and you can put a bit of glue on the bottom and then you need glue on this side. So this is going there, so it'd be here. And you sort of just put the bags together. Don't think I had enough glue on here. As I mentioned, my glue bottle is being temperamental. So you can see how easy it is to make the bags as long as you have glue that's working fine. I always like to use glue when I'm making these bags. I don't use dry adhesive because I find that um, the dry adhesive will eventually unstick. I think the base just needed more glue. Let's see if I can squeeze some out of this tube. Of course not. There we go. That'll be enough to sort of hold it down. Is it all? Right. Okay, so our final thing to do is just put on our banner. I'm going to put a dimensional adhesive just in the middle. And then see if I can squeeze on a little. Oh, there, there's some just on the edge there. And there we go. Have a magical day. And I think these little bags would be cute. Well, with the fairies, they're super cute for a little girl's party. But the tote bags can be used for any season, any occasion. You just change up what you're putting on them. So check out all these great products from Lawn Fawn Stamps. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and like our video and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Scrap Time Videos. See you next time. Bye bye.